you are on Zoom calls and you hear really good audio from some of your colleagues and wonder how your audio sounds. You realize it is time to upgrade or improve your audio by getting an external mic. You do some research and there are a lot of options. In this video, I will let you know what is the best type of mic to get for your next video conference meeting or Zoom call. Hi YouTube, I'm Ryan and this is the Elevate Project. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you find value in this video. Because there are a lot of options when looking at mics, there are built-in mics to webcams that can range from $20 to several hundred dollars. There are USB mics and even fairly affordable XLR mics to professional level XLR mics that you see people like Joe Rogan on his podcast use, which sound absolutely amazing. One thing to remember is audio is 50% of a video conference and notably I feel is the most important because it doesn't matter if you have the best video or best presentation with all the bells and whistles. If nobody on the call can hear you clearly, you can't communicate the important content you have to share. Your audience may just mute and or multitask and ignore what you have to say. So what does good audio sound like? Well, I mentioned earlier Joe Rogan. He has a very popular podcast. He is also a ring announcer for the UFC and always sounds crystal clear on both speaking engagements. If you listen to podcasts or audiobooks, that would be considered good if not great audio. That audio needs to be clear because there is no video. The audio needs to be crystal clear for the listener to stay engaged with the content. Hence, in Zoom calls, when you hear bad audio, you become disengaged in the content. The goal is to have good audio where you can hear the speaker clearly with minimal background and room noise. I can first tell you, if you are purchasing this mic just for video calls and Zoom meetings, stick with a USB mic. Built-in mic on webcams or built-in mics connected to the free pair of headphones that came with your, with your smartphone will be okay. But most likely, not a huge improvement to what you are using right now. I don't suggest purchasing an XLR mic for a lot of different reasons. One, you will need to connect an XLR mic to your computer with some sort of audio interface or mixer to connect to the Zoom software to recognize the mic. This is an additional cost and you will notice if you do choose to use an XLR mic and you are on video, your audio and your video will be out of sync. Audio transfers data much faster than video, so your audio will be out of sync and look distracting. Now this isn't an issue if most of your calls isn't relying on video. Also, there is lots of advantages having an XLR mic if you choose to purchase one. Having an audio interface or a mixer, if you need to do any recording outside of live streaming, you will have better audio and a lot of flexibility with editing the audio to tweak it and make it sound even better. You do see a lot of people using an XLR mic on Zoom calls, and it's usually because they already have this mic from other hobbies, jobs, etc. And there is a way to sync audio and video, and this normally will require another piece of hardware or software to actually make it work. Again, if you're just wanting to improve your audio for Zoom, you can avoid these extra expenses and extra steps to make it all work. Also, you are streaming the audio over the internet, and the audio is going to be compressed, taking away some of the best qualities and features of having an XLR mic. The best type of external mic for Zoom, in my opinion, is a decent USB mic. What is great with a USB mic is connectivity. You're able to move the mic around to adjust the distance from your mouth to get the best audio quality possible. Remember, when you are on Zoom, you are streaming the audio over the internet and will be compressed to a certain degree. Audio will be a huge improvement because most USB mics are designed to accept sound from a certain amount of distance from the mic. 
which can help eliminate some background noise. And if you happen to be in a room or office space that has a lot of room noise or background noise, this type of mic will help reduce those noises. The great thing with the rise of video conferencing in the past year, there are lots of great options for USB mics. And there are USB mics that also support both USB and XLR connections. So when, if you do need better audio quality later for voiceovers or other types of audio recordings, then you have that option. Now there is a huge abundance of USB mics on the market and not all mics are made the same. The main type of mics are either condenser mics or dynamic mics. So what is the difference? Well, a condenser mic can pick up a broader range of frequencies which may seem it can take in more background noise and that drawback does mean you will get a more natural sound with great quality. Obviously, the closer you are to the mic, the better your sound, the better your voice and better overall audio quality. A condenser mic really shines in a quiet room and with a little distance away from your mouth because it does have a little background noise or a little buzz to it. A dynamic mic, on the other hand, is a mic that I actually have and it eliminates a lot of your background noise, which is great. And it has a distinct broadcasting sound as most, if not all, broadcast stations use dynamic mics. The sound you're hearing right now is from my dynamic mic. I don't have a condenser mic to really compare the sound for you. Having this mic for several years though, I love it and I like that distinct broadcast sound and I always get compliments or at least comments about when I am presenting or speaking on video conference calls or Zoom meetings. The mic I'm currently using is a Samson Q2U which is a USB mic and XLR mic. I actually had no issues with audio sync using it in USB mode. And as soon as I switched to XLR audio and I had a audio interface, I noticed that I had huge audio sync issues for live streaming on video conference co conferencing calls and Zoom meetings. I have been able to make adjustments to make it work with additional software and having an XLR input is great when I have had to do voiceovers and separate audio recordings. Honestly though, I noticed the difference, but it actually isn't a huge difference when in USB mode for recording on different software. When it comes to video conferencing or Zoom, the difference is really negligible. So in conclusion, the best type of mics for Zoom, in my opinion, is going to be a decent USB mic. Dynamic or condenser will do the job. If you want some quick suggestions, look up the Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti, the Audio-Technica 2100, and the one I am using, the Samsung Q2U, which are all affordable mics that won't break the bank at the time of this recording. I will say a couple of things to think about when purchasing an external mic, regardless if you get a USB mic or if you opt for an XLR mic is if it comes with some sort of stand, shock mount, and or pop filter. Some of the options I mentioned will come with all of the extras included with the mic. You want something to hold and stabilize the mic because it will pick up vibrations, like if you tap on your desk, etc. And having a pop filter will help eliminate or reduce plosive sounds when speaking. If you found value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Comment below and let me know what USB mic you have or are thinking of buying. If you like videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.